The futures on the U.S. stock indices are trading marginally higher as an upward correction. The U.S. dollar is advancing across the board while its Canadian rival is losing ground. Futures on the U.S. benchmark stock indices are making an upward correction today after a notable decline on Monday. Futures on the Dow Jones were 0.11% lower at 27,026. The Nasdaq futures edged up 0.58% to trade at 11,053. Futures on the S&P 500 rose 0.12% to trade at 3,279.12. 3 the U.S. stock saw a wave of sell-offs yesterday as market sentiment turned sour due to a surge of virus cases and new lockdown measures in Europe. Analysts warned that markets are set to trade under high volatility because investors are worried about a long period of uncertainty in the wake of the presidential election. In the European trade today, the U.S. dollar is consolidating gains. In the early New York trade, its index climbed 0.1% to trade at 93.72, the strongest level in six weeks. The Canadian dollar lost seat steam versus the greenback. The dollar versus looney pair rose to 1.3300, that's more than a one-month high. The likelihood of reinforcing lockdown measures in Europe dampened risk on mood, thus traders rushed to sell riskier assets. The highlight of the week is the testimony of Fed Chairman Jerome Powell, who is expected to unveil a series of new fiscal stimulus introduced by the central bank to prop up the national economy amid the pandemic-driven crisis. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin is also due to make comments. As for the economic calendar, the U.S. will report on existing home sales today. The number of existing home deals is projected to have grown to 6 million in August from 5.87 million in July. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.